Welcome back to Excuse, Excuse My, My Friend. Friend. I'm Julia. I'm Alexis. And before we get started on this lovely episode, we want to take a second to talk about Shein. In a world where there's so much waste, it's easy to get overwhelmed by environmental issues and not even know where to start to help contribute to a better world. Trust us, we've been there, but just one small change in our habits and the products we purchase can pave the way to positive changes. As girly girls who love fashion, we are so excited to tell you about Evolution. Evolution by design is Shein's new clothing line, purposefully designed with responsibly sourced and rescued materials that are still super cute and affordable, but have a lower impact on the planet. I didn't think I could wear eco-friendly items and still look fashionable. Well, Evolution proves me wrong, baby. So check out the Evolution by Design line by Shein and take a step towards evolving your wardrobe in a way that will make you feel good and look good, people. I mean, how good does that sound? It sounds amazing to me. So we can look good and save the environment. About Speaking that. of clothes, um, this jacket I'm wearing reminds me of the other night because I wore it the other night. Yeah, we were at a bar and I ordered pizza. I was really hungry. And this guy comes up to me and starts talking to me as I'm putting tissues in my ears, mind you, because it's so loud. And I didn't feel like talking to anyone, but I was like, oh. so he starts talking to me and I didn't hear him. And I, he kind of went like did this gesture and I think he was complimenting my jacket and I was like, oh, thank you. And then he, I was also eating French fries too. And he, he said, how are the fries? And I just didn't feel like talking to him. So I was like, oh, they're good. Yeah. Have some. <laughs> Cause I've, all like all our friends were, we're all kind of just yeah. sharing the fries anyway. And then he goes and takes a slice of my pizza and he uses his dirty hands to like grab one slice and hold another slice to try to pick it apart. And I was appalled and I was like, excuse me, that's my pizza. 30 minutes later, he comes back, whips out his wallet and he's like, can I buy another slice from you? If that's if that's how guys are picking up girls these days, then that is um, that's I don't think that's the way to do it. Um, I feel like he's probably the type that likes a girl to take care of him. I feel like guys nowadays sometimes expect like the girl to provide or get them food. And I feel like it's this Peter Pan thing where they like want this mama, this mom kind of thing. They just never want to grow up. These men just never want to grow up. Yeah. And they like, see a girl with pizza and they just go in they take her pizza and then they want to buy a yeah, slice. They, they don't want to buy out. their own. Sorry. I'm clearly still, I hold on to things. I'm still like, that's healthy. Very it. healthy to do. And us Wendy women. I feel like care. I'm not a Wendy. You at don't all. think you're a Wendy? No. So you don't think you're mother no. mother hen? I think, yeah. I'm a mother hen in like a different way, but explain Wendy. Go ahead. I don't really remember Peter Pan. It's been a few years since I've seen the movie, but from from what I gather, Wendy was kind of like the let me take care of, let me hold yeah. your hand. I feel like you are Wendy, a hundred million percent. You're like that take care. Actually, no, you're actually, I don't know what the hell you are because you also <laughs> like it when someone windies your ass. So I don't really know. I do. I don't know what the hell I want. Yeah, I don't, I don't know because you are a windy, but then you also like being windied. And like for me, do not windy me. No. Oh, no. Alexis hates when she gets wendied. Don't mother him. We already ass. said what Wendy is, right? Like, no, a I, don't mother, think we did. I think Wendy, okay, yeah, Wendy is like, uh, like the mother hen, right? Let me hold your hand. She's a mother hen. Let me we show had you a the roommate ropes. that was a windy. I was gonna, and I literally was, I was. Wait, I literally was about to bring her Sorry, up. Sorry, that was in your ears, but no, like we I literally still get triggered. We're about to bring her up. She was a Wendy. She wanted to be our mom. She wanted to take oh us under her wing and be our God. big sister, which I liked. I found that really cute because I am the youngest sibling and I like having the older siblings and I, I do like being Wendy. Totally. I and I've never had a sister and I've always wanted like an older sister. It's fun having like an older sister. Yeah, yeah. You wanted a something. sister until you and I lived together. Now yes, you say I don't want right. a sister anymore. Exactly. <laughs> so I like it, but there's like a fine line. Like, do not mother me and smother me. I do not like it. Right. It's very well, simple. Especially her because it was like, you don't know us like Ugh. that. And this is when we first moved to Nashville. So we didn't really know anybody. So she wanted to take us under her wing um, um yeah, yeah you guys definitely butted heads well she's sneaky she started she was a sneak by leak. being like oh so supportive and oh my god this is so exciting and then slowly that mothering smothering creep the frick in and then uh, she starts threatening and saying i'm gonna get a hold of your mom and tell her I'm gonna message her on Facebook. Oh, but she I'm gonna did. let her know. She when messaged we moved my out, mom. She messaged I'm like, my who mom the too. Fuck are you? 
She, when we moved out, out, she messaged both of our moms on Facebook this novel about how terrible we were. Me. me. I it was included. Real, I don't think you know you what were. one of the things was. What? They would set up their lights and their camera in the living room <laughs> and film social media content. Clearly it worked. <laughs> Manifested this. Okay. A novel. Send it to her mom's then blocked us. Oh, she just. Mm-mm. So yeah, you guys butted heads because you didn't like being Wendy'd. No. I liked being Wendy'd, but I also do like being a Wendy. You, I feel like are a mix. I think I, it depends on the person. Yeah, it does. I, I, is that towards a, like your family yeah, and true. stuff you are but for like a guy well, like a guy i'm trying to like I'm trying to think here's are what you kind of, here's what kind of windy i am okay <laughs> i'm a windy where it's like i don't even know if this is a windy but i like things done the right way i like things done my way i only really get that way like with a guy i really like or like if, if there's a time and a place too right That's when true. you should step up and like be That's that true. person time place person do you think i win to you I don't think so. I don't really think we Wendy. Like, we don't need to Wendy each other. Oh, we're pretty we're like, we're saying Wendy, 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 <laughs> Wendy. Like, uh, do we mother each? Like, yeah. But I, your mom, she always says I mother you. My so. mom <laughs> to this day is like, thank you for being, being her second, second mom. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me. She's like, thank you for looking out for her, which. Yeah, because you're a mess. I that because years ago I was a total mess. But Current. fast forward. I'm like, hello, when we go out, I'm the sober one. Like, normally in bed by 9 p.m. I have everyone um, fooled, okay? Time and a place. Like, we're wild and whack, but time and a place. Time and a we place, We get things done. Sure. We we keep it safe. I feel like there's a fine line between mothering and nurturing. Mothering is, like, nagging, stems from anxiety, control. That's they say then. a lot of type <laughs> A people lean that more on the mothering. <laughs> I think mothering for me is more like... Like when they're sick, I will make them chicken soup from scratch. That was a thing growing up. I'm Polish. We would make chicken soup from scratch, not the box or the canned stuff. So I'm like, you know, I'll try to pull out the stops and be like, I could be a good wifey. And I feel like mothering in that way is almost also an anxiety of like, let me show them how good I can be. It's also stupid and no one should do that. No, but I'm saying like. It's like a way to show, like, let me show how good I can be as a wife. Like, I can cook for you. That I can is clean so, for you. Okay, I can please, do your laundry. I, like, literally, this is giving me, like, so much ick. I can't. Okay. The way you're saying this. Like, let me show you no, how I, I can know, be a great I feel wife. Like, oh. I feel like, but I feel like that's where it comes from. I feel like your, your Wendy that's comes really from a different what you place. Feel? And, like, for a lot of a lot of other girls, it is kind of like a let me prove myself. It's just, like, a way to be, like, look how great I can be for you. And I don't think that's bad. It just shows that we care. Um... But you yeah, know what? I've, that real quick before you start something else, it's kind of messed up that like that's how you think that you should prove that you're going to be a good wife is by cooking them. Not by cooking. Soup. I'm not. I'm just giving examples like just that that but, mothering like not even just by cooking, even by like reminding them of things or like making sure that they just showing up i think that's like a way of showing up for someone to me at least i know but cooking really just hit for you what have you done that oh the cooking you're so because that one time right i guess but like you okay so she wants me to bring up the time that i yeah i know this is a big trigger so i was dating this guy we were like a month in it wasn't even that serious and he was sick so I went over there. He was asleep, by the way. He left the key under the flower pot. I unlocked the door, let myself in. I went to town, made some really good, authentic Polish chicken soup. And when it was done, I went into his room. As he was sleeping, I'm like, hey, like, soup's ready. Like, do you want me to leave? Do you hey, want me to baby. stay? Yeah, like, hey, baby. And he was <laughs> like, can you stay? I don't want to be alone. Hey, baby. And I totally neglected my own needs and stayed with him and slept there and made sure he was okay and that but that's like oh in me like i like when someone's sick or like needs help like i will be there oh, i had the freaking cold and you're over there going oh you have a cop hold on well yeah men can be Come babies on, when they're baby. sick too oh, you, you have, have a, cop? a stomach like, he's like a stomach dying. bug no totally and it, i see that now fast forward looking back there was like things i needed from him that i asked for that he didn't show up for so. i mean i've done that before but, too with a guy but it was i never made him food i would just like drop something off and i wouldn't go in i wouldn't check the temperature i wouldn't be like, oh my god oh you're so hot oh, whatever yeah um but i have two brothers and 
my one brother, he had back surgery. And like that's a big surgery. That's a big ordeal, yeah, that's you major. know. Well, he was kind of liking this girl, but like didn't want to make it official with her and I never understood why because I'm like, oh my, she seems so nice. So when I went back home to visit my brother, I'm like, I'm going to see why. Like why he doesn't want to make it official. Every day I was there, she was there. My brother would be sleeping. She would be in the dark sitting at the edge of his bed to make sure he was fine and like to wait for him to like wake up. And I'm like, that's really sweet really sweet really really sweet and that's the kind of girl you fucking marry but but he didn't want to that's not the kind of girl that guys want Mm -mm. to like solidify things with if that's even the right thing to say like they i think they like more of like that not chase but like knowing that she's gonna be there around the clock the same time every time doing the same freaking thing every day Mm -hmm. i think he was kind of like over and they never became official even after all that like he's Uh very nice to her about it but he's like, she just, uh, ugh. Well, at the like, end of the day, men don't want to sleep with their moms, right? So when you start uh, to have that mom why. vibe, yeah. um, you start to really take on, I don't want to say like masculine and feminine energy, but from what I've read up on this, when you are mothering, you're actually more in your masculine and it has nothing to do with like male and female. It's just that masculine energy leans more towards like, like, okay, so mothering you would think it would be feminine because you're nurturing whatever but it takes on the masculine yeah, I can with see that. the managing part where mm-hmm. you're like timmy needs to be at soccer at five o'clock see that's the lunch ready me. that's more so me. that's more of like a masculine energy totally and so it's it's just interesting but i it's it's i think there's some truth to that and like i said men start to see that and also like they, they get icked out it's like totally. this is like my mom mm-hmm. i don't want to sleep with my mom like they there's yeah. got to be like some sort of like mm-hmm. sass and like have your own kind of thing going, thing going. yeah like you still be there put for your the foot down you need like you need a little bit more of a backbone i think that's what it is you yes. can still be I, I i'm coming off wrong i feel like you can still be super sweet supportive and nurturing But also know when it's like, okay, I'm going to help you, but I'm going to like leave because I have to do X, Y, and Z. You know what I mean? You don't drop everything for them. I mean, Mm -hmm. unless they're in dire need, of course. How do we stop mothering or parenting our partner? Okay. (sighs) What we have to do is we have to acknowledge our part in it. Okay. It often begins when one partner feels the other isn't sharing the load or when the same issues keep resurfacing. The person who adopts the parent role ends up frustrated and thinking, well, if he would just do this or he would just do that, that's 100% me. I wouldn't have to keep reminding him of this or can he just take care of this? I take care of myself. Anyways, the truth is that although we can't control what our partners do, we can control ourselves. So instead of immediately blaming your partner, which I do, (laughs) um, consider how you've helped create the situation. Also, be direct and not be passive aggressive, Julia. Guys respond much better to clear requests. We need to be better, guys, at choosing a time to voice our concerns. Um... And I think that's super important and explain what's kind of frustrating you and why this bothers you, because it is true when someone's coming home after a long day and they're busy, the last thing they want to do is talk about issues and problems and like what's on your mind, Mm -hmm. which is so true. Um, Then you can like get more out of them if you wait for a time when they're in a good mood and they're not tired. Yeah, because I feel like, okay, it's it's a better out. You'll get the outcome you want if you wait for the right time. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, anyways, guys, follow us on all things social media. Excuse my friend. Also, Heartland Heartland Ray. Ray. And leave a comment, leave a review, chime in. I don't know. Be interactive because we like it. We like to see it. Interact and with I us. try to put polls on here too. So answer the polls. We like that as answer well. Answer the polls, damn it. Answer, answer me. Anyways, we'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.